to the FBI. Now at five, what today's guilty plea from President Trump's first national security advisor means for the Russia investigation. An arrest in New Hampshire connected to an international crime ring. How thieves got their hands on so many credit card numbers. You feel violated, um, and then you feel paranoid. What should I do to protect myself? And whether a nice, quiet, and cool first weekend of December on the way, when the pattern could change. I'm Jean Mackin coming to you from the Toys for Tots toy drive with some very important people who need your help. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. No one covers New Hampshire like we do. Now, WMUR News 9 at 5. An early favorite of President Trump has now admitted to lying to the FBI during an investigation into Russian influence on the U.S. election. Good evening, I'm Mike Chair. And I'm Jennifer Vaughn. Former security advisor Michael Flynn pleaded guilty today to willfully and knowingly making false statements about meetings with the Russian ambassador. That's right. He's the first person who served in this White House to be charged in the Russia investigation. And just this hour, we are learning more about who else in the administration may have known the truth. ABC's Serena Marshall is live in Washington with more details. Serena, what have we learned today? 